Okay, tandem suspensions on caravans. This, uh, uh, there's a few different suspensions and if you've got an independent suspension they're generally very reliable. Certainly need a bit of towing adjustment from time to time. Um, but there's, there's numerous versions of them and, and they're pretty reliable. Unfortunately we do have trouble with the leaf spring rocker system uh, and we find it a suspension that you've really got to monitor to monitor pretty closely. Um, so the rocker is a suspension where it's got a fixed eye at both ends uh, and two, two big problems. One is wearing of these bushes uh, fairly aggressively um, and the second is breaking probably a spring on the near side, so the curved side of the caravan. Um, the nature of the suspension is that when it's when both axles are working against each other, unfortunately, uh, it's got a reputation for cracking those springs. So what's become a pretty common conversion at Harding's is putting on a rocker roller. Now to look at it, it looks very similar to the rocker system, but the fundamental difference is we've, in the back end of each spring, rather than a fixed eye, we've got a massive loop. And you'll see in the back of both those springs is this massive loop. And what that allows for is that when each axle is working together uh, and you get all those road fluctuations and bumps, that, that loop can flow. And that's generally what we've found is stops that cracking springs. So again, what's become a common conversion is converting to this. People, people then don't crack springs. They still wear these bushes, but probably not at the rate of the rocker. Um, if, you, if you don't want to uh, do something like that, you find that too an extensive job. Carrying a spare spring is what we'd recommend.